guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it is your first time here. Today I'm coming to you from Northumberland. I thought that I would do a little holiday book haul because this morning we went into Annick and we went to Barter Books which is the second biggest secondhand bookstore in the UK. Um, so this video is going to be slightly different in that I'm going to show you the books that I got and then the kids are going to show you the books that they got and James is going to show you the books that he got. So without further ado, let's just get into the books. Hi, so I spent most of the day um, corralling the children around the various sections and trying to get them to stay interested and quiet and not bumping into people so I actually only managed to pick up two books um, the first one is this one which is called The Steel Remains by Richard Morgan and honestly I know absolutely nothing about it um, I was in the fantasy section and I wanted to choose a book and after reading the backs of a couple of covers this one jumped out at me. So, um, one of the reasons that I picked it up because it has a recommendation by Joe Abercrombie. Um, I've read a couple of his books, so that was enough to persuade me to give it a go. So we'll see how it is. The next book that I picked up was actually just lying on the table when we went for a cup of coffee. Um, it was just there and I picked it up to have a look at it. It's called The Master of Shadows. And the thing that intrigued me was, it's by a guy called Neil Oliver. So. You may not know who he is, but he's actually um, done quite a few documentaries for the BBC. He specialises in um, human prehistory, kind of um, Neolithic times. I've, I've watched a couple of documentaries on. And when I read the blurb, it said that this was his first foray into fiction. And so I just thought, why not? Let's give it a go. It's based in 1453. It's about a Scottish guy who gets mixed up in the siege of Constantinople and not sure what I think about it, but we'll see. We'll give it a go. So Thanks. the first books I picked up were two horrible science theory, series. Um, I, I thought I was interested in them because I've already got some and I thought I wanted to give some other books a go. So, so what are they? So I've them? got... Um, Ugly Bugs and Disgusting di Digestion. The last book I picked up was Mr. Gum. My mum, my mum, she pointed it out to me. Then I read the I read the blurb, and it sounded very interesting to me. What also caught my interest was it has um, some stickers in it which I can use for art and crafts, like if I was writing something about Mr. Gum, which was very helpful. I got. So the first book I got is Gangster Granny by David Walliams. It's about um, a boy who has to go to his granny's every Friday but really doesn't like it until he finds out his granny is an international jewel thief. Um, I've listened to this in the car and I have watched the film so I wanted to give the book a try as well. While I was in the bookshop I got three books by Jacqueline Wilson. I like the way that Jacqueline Wilson writes because she gives lots of this description about the way the characters are feeling when they're writing their diaries and I also like the books because most of the girls um, in the books are the same age as me and that some of them have very similar personalities so I really feel like the book is coming alive right in front of my eyes. Wow, that's lovely. The first book I got by Jacqueline Wilson is Clean Break, which is about a girl who dreams of meeting her favourite author. The second book I got by Jacqueline Wilson is called The Lottie Project. It's about a girl called Charlie who, whose teacher has given her a project to do about the Victorians so she creates a character very similar to herself called Lottie. The final book I got by Jacqueline Wilson is called The Bed and Breakfast Star. This is about who, a girl whose family has moved into a bed and breakfast. So one of the things which makes Barter Books really interesting is that you can take books in and they give you a value for those books and then you can spend those, they're almost like tokens and you can spend them on books. So we took one 
reusable bag full and got £12. I think they have a maximum of two carrier bags full that you can take. But yes, yeah, so we got £12 to put towards the books, although as you will probably realise, we spent quite a bit more than that on the books that we bought. So the first one I'm going to talk about is The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. This is a book which has been on my radar for a really long time but I've only ever seen it in hardback so when I spotted it in paperback I immediately snapped it up. I believe that this is a book set in a Japanese prisoner of war camp and it's about a surgeon who is struggling with some ghosts from his past as well as struggling to care for the men that are in this prisoner of war camp who are suffering from cholera and exhaustion and starvation and just all the kind of horrific things that you might assume go along with being in a prisoner of war camp. So I don't know too much about it but I have heard very very good things and I'm really really excited to give this one a go. The next book that I picked up was 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This book probably needs very little introduction because it's a current because it's currently a very popular Netflix series but if you're not familiar with it then it's basically the story of a young girl who takes her own life but before she does that she records a series of tapes which feature 13 reasons why she decided to commit suicide and she sends these to an ex-boyfriend and one of the reasons why she took her own life is apparently her ex-boyfriend. So I haven't watched the Netflix series, I wanted to read this first and form my own opinions but I am very curious to see what all the hype is about. Obviously the Netflix series I think is now in season two so it is very very popular um, but yeah I saw it and I wanted to give it a try. The next book I picked up was Gold by Chris Cleave. I read Everyone Brave is Forgiven by Chris Cleave a number of months ago and although it didn't blow my socks off I really enjoyed his writing style I thought that it was really straightforward and really easy to read so I thought that I would give another one of his books a go. This is about two girls who are athletes competing at the top of their field against one another. It says on the back Kate and Zoe are friends but also ardent rivals athletes at the top of their game fighting to compete in the world's greatest sporting contest. Each scarred by tragedy and each with a great deal to lose they must choose between family and glory and ask themselves what will I sacrifice? So that really, really caught my interest. And as I said, I know that I get on with Chris Cleave's writing. So yeah, I thought that I would give this one a try. The next book I picked up was Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I have never read any Karen Slaughter, but this book particularly, which I think is her latest release, has been doing the rounds on booktube with people just saying that it is a really, really solid thriller. So I wanted to give some of her writing a try and I thought that I would just go with this one. This is about a woman whose sister has gone missing 20 years previously and she is convinced that there was foul play involved and then 20 years on another girl goes missing in very similar circumstances and kind of stirs everything up again and she decides that she wants to get to the bottom of what is happening. I believe that this is very hard hitting, I believe it's very spine tingly. Haven't seen many people kind of reviewing the book, I've just seen it cropping up every now and then. But yeah, I'm interested to see how I get on with Karen Slaughter's writing because she's written so many books so if I enjoy this one then um, it's always good to kind of discover a new crime slash thriller author that you enjoy. So yeah, another one to add to my ever-growing TBR list. Next, I picked up the first book in a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. This one is called The Bad Beginning and it's one of the gorgeous hardbacks um, and it is in really, really good condition. Um, I would have bought them all but they had really funny numbers so um, I only went with the first one. I actually did try to get both the kids to choose this as one of their books but neither of them were massively interested because I know that James's sister really really enjoys these books and she's recommended them for Megan a number of times and so we almost left it and then I thought no I will get it and then maybe we can read it with the kids um, or I can read it and see what I think because they're not massively long and then obviously there is also the Netflix spin-off series that has been made from these as well which we haven't watched but I am again interested to watch once I read the book so I have never read these the kids have never read these I don't even think James has read these but we're going to give this a go as a family see what we think see whether it's worth the hype and if it is then I'm sure that we will invest in the rest of these books. And then the final book that I picked up was Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Again, Morgan Matson is an author that I've never read anything by, but I have heard very, very good things. This is about two young girls, one goes missing and she leaves nothing behind except a to-do list and her best friend decides to complete this to-do list and on the list is just a whole host of things that she would never normally consider doing. I believe that this is going to be quite 
a funny and heartwarming, easy to read, fluffy uh, story. So I thought that I would pick it up. I thought that I would pop it on my list. It would be a great go-to book over the summer. As you may have seen, I've got a huge, huge summer reads uh, TBR video. I will link that in the description box down below if you haven't seen that yet. So I need some light, fluffy, quick reads to kind of jump into in between the mammoth books that I've set for myself. And this one might very well fit the bill for that. But as I said, I've never picked up any Morgan Matson, but I see her name cropping up again and again with people saying that her books are just really great and just really easy to read. So I thought that I would give it a go. Although the writing in this book is tiny and it's not actually that thin. So I feel like I may have committed myself to another massive read to put onto my summer TBR, but anyway, we shall see. So there you go, they are the books that we picked up at the Barter Bookstore in Annick. I hope that you have enjoyed this slightly different book haul from me. Do leave me a comment if you have read any of the books that we picked up. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all very soon.